Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to more Pokemon Y. Last time, we explored the top floor here of Lissandre's lab. And in this episode, we're gonna head down to the bottom floor. Now that we have got, or to the next floor at least, now that we've got the elevator key. Before we do that, there are some items I missed out on, or at least uh, two I missed out on, that I didn't know how to get, but I played off screen and I now know how to get them. So I'm gonna grab them real quick before we head down to the next floor. And just get them out of the way. I know it's not like too important to grab every item, but... It just feels good, you know, it's like a completion of sake sort of thing that you like to grab all the items, or at least I like to grab them, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to grabbing all the items if I can, so I'm gonna go do that. And what you want to do to get to these items is head down here and uh, try not to stand on one of those tiles because that will bring you back. And if you come all the way over here, you will get teleported over this way, which will lead you to the black glasses, an item that does increase the power of dark type moves. So that's good, you have those like right off the bat. And you have a trainer here you can battle. So we'll just take this guy on like super quick and uh, just move on. Alright, so might get a dark type Pokemon just as we get the black glasses. And we do have to be up at the point, so we're we'll this thing on level 43, so that's not bad. We'll go for a horn leech and just KO that thing. And that should be that. So there we go. And next up we have. A Torque, or, wow, Torque, oh no, Toxic Croak. So we'll stay and we'll go for a Bulls. I don't know why it's a Torque only, really, but. I guess it's because I'm uh, recording this kind of earlier than usual and I'm tired. So, Sucker Punch is going to do minimal damage and a uh, Bulldog is going to knock down. So there we go. Oh, wow, it lived. Wow. Props. Props. <laughs> Props must be given. He lived. I thought he was going to die, but now he does. And uh, yeah, we take that one. Props. Props given. He, he lived. Alright, so level 15 for Giddy Up. And that's pretty awesome. And trying to learn the move Milk Drink. Uh, I'm not going to teach that because I already have Horn Leech, like, which is like my recovery move. I don't need anything else taking up space. So, yeah. Alright, there we go. So, defeating that guy will lead you to another item. And that item is not too important to grab, I guess, but it's pretty, uh, pretty, it's something you should want to grab, I guess, maybe, I don't know, if you want to level up quickly, and that is a, a rare candy, so yeah, if you want to level up a Pokemon, you want to get this rare candy. That's all that is. <laughs> it's all for a rare candy, but at least you get the black glasses, and black glasses are pretty good for increasing dark type moves, so definitely would not, uh, avoid going up there, if you want to go up there, by all means do. I don't know how to get over there yet, though. That is just like something that has been out of my reach. I just have never been able to get over there. So, if you guys know how to get over there, unless I have to go over there like later, which I have a feeling I may have to, then, uh, yeah, any uh, tips would be helpful. But, we are going to be going down the elevator here and heading to basement 2, or B2, which I assume is basement floor 2. Alright, so, what do we have down this way, I guess? Uh, see what's happening all the way over here. Listen, one who will face Lissandre. Oh wait, it's that, it's that guy. A terribly long time ago. There was a man in a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in that war. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life. He brought his beloved Pokemon back.
The man had suffered too much. His rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. You turn the machine into the ultimate weapon. The man be became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. The Pokemon that was given life must have known. That the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. The resurrected Pokemon left the man. Okay, um, that was sort of... Alright. Get the key back. It should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know some unending pain, like I have? That is AZ. He has the same name as a king that lived 3,000 years ago. And for some unknown reason, he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck. It's finally time. Follow me to my chambers. Um, uh, okay, so what does he say? Get the key back. It should not be- okay, he just says the same thing again. Alright then, uh, I guess we better head to Lissandre's chambers, because no one else for us to go, so uh, let's head to B3 then. I assume that's where he is, because we weren't able to go there before. Alright, so let me switch my team around real quick, just in case we have to battle again, I don't want to use Giddy Up, so... We'll go with, uh, Greninja. I haven't used Greninja in a while, so yeah, we'll go with that. And we will, uh, see what's going on here. Oh, uh, what's dead end there? Alright, up oh, this way, uh... This place looks pretty cool. Oh, well, yeah, we came to the right place, at least. So the Pokeballs we received it, and the Pokemon we've gathered... ...are where they need to be. Add it all up, and that means preparations are complete. The only thing left to do is put the plan in motion. I'm counting on you. One push of a button, we can activate the ultimate weapon from this room. I believe in I believe being a chosen one means you have the potential to change the future. Whether we activate the weapon, ultimate weapon, or leave it safely underground will rest upon if you actually have this potential or not. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm bad at choices like this. Oh ho ho! You're the one I've heard so much about, I've been waiting for you! I need to do a little research on you, come on, let, let us begin! Alright then, so... Looks like we have to face off against, uh, Zero Sick, I think that's how it's pronounced. And, uh, yeah, he has two Pokemon, so... <coughs> Jeez, well... He's off the Crobat. That is on a decent high level, I assume, level 46, so what we'll do is go for an Extra Sensory. That is our super effective move on it, I guess. And Extra Sensory is going to almost KO it, which is good. x is actually super effective on us because we're a Dark type, so that sort of sucks. But yeah, we can just uh, get our HP back with leftovers, so that's fine. And what we'll do is go for Thief, and just finish off with that, because why you waste another Extra Sensory, I guess. So there we go, Crobat is still out. And... More Lefty's recovery, so... Finally, Zero Sick has a... Malamar, which is a Psychic and a Dark type, and uh, I don't really have much to combat that. Uh, I think we'll stay with Froge. I don't have too much for it, but I guess we'll stay with Froge. So, 
What we'll do is go for Surf and see how much damage we can dish out with that. And it should hopefully do a decent amount. And yeah, it's a something to a kill. Let's go for superpowers. That's gonna kill me for sure. It's a fighting type move. And we get knocked out by that. So, well, this thing is like, oh, and it's contrary. Okay. Uh, so contrary is a move, is an ability that if you have a move that lowers your stats, then it's gonna actually increase your stats instead. So this thing instead of losing attack and defense, got an attack and defense boost. But what we're gonna do is just go for Thunderbolt and knock it out from that range of HP. I hope. And we very well do. But yeah, Contrary, very nice ability and uh, very nicely used there by Zero Sick, I will admit. Alright, so level 58. And Zero Sick is defeated, and he's like really white. He's like whiter than I am. Oh, you, you're you wonderful. Your Pokemon are amazing. Alright, sweet. So, 6,720 bucks warning. I need to sneeze. And uh, hopefully I can hold it off. You have a tremendous skill and bravery. When you add that up, it means I will tell you something very interesting. It happened 3,000 years ago. The ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. If we use that incredible, incredible power, we can finally free Kalos from the foolish humans that plague it. Behind me, you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them is the, we is the button for activating the ultimate weapon. Push one now. Come on, push one. Um... Uh... Blue? I guess? Did I do it right? You pressed it! Oh! You pressed the blue switch! Winner, winner! Oh good, I will. Oh, phew. I saved everybody. Congratulations! What? Are you kidding me? But I pressed the right one! Oh no. Uh-oh. That's not good. That did not look good at all. Did you see? The ultimate weapon is reborn. The poisonous flower has bloomed. All shall perish, except for Team Flare. Look at Geosenge. It has bloomed in Geosenge Town. The boss's dream of creating a beautiful world will come true. Add it all up and it equals victory for science. Oh no. Alright, let's get out of here then and make our way to Geosense Town because we definitely have to head there now. So, let's head to floor one. And then we will head to uh, Geosense Town. So yeah, let's get the hell out of here then and not make sure that we can put a stop to this. Alright, so, back in Lumios. No time to enjoy the wonderful music, I'm afraid, but we gotta head to Geosense. So let's make our way there. That's the wrong place. I went to Shallower City. <laughs> I was moving too quickly. I was trying to get there really fast, but I went to Shallower City. So that sucks. All right then. But if you hope we could like see the ultimate weapon from here, because Geosend is like right beside Shallower City. So if you could like look out and see the ultimate weapon, that'd be awesome. Unfortunately, we can't. You have to be to Geosend to see it. So let's go to Geosend then and see this ultimate weapon. In person, I guess. Alright, so here we are, and, uh... Whoa. Okay, then. Um... Right. I need to go heal up, because my Greninja did faint. 
But I think with all this and done, I'm gonna wrap it up here anyway. And in the next episode, we're gonna see what is going on with this colossal weapon and uh, what's happening with Team Flares. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. And uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys more shortly enough. Catch you guys then.